Hey guys, how you doing? So what are the three top things you can do to improve so many aspects of your health, whether you have diabetes, type one or two, whether you have uh, cardiovascular problems, migraines, headaches, fibromyalgia, whether you have arthritis, MS, all these host of diseases, by the way, even cancers, uh, they're all related to one thing, metabolic disorders, metabolic disorders. What does that mean? That means you are basically living a lifestyle that is causing these things perhaps and maybe accelerating the impacts of these things by quite a bit. I can tell you from personal experience, when you follow these three basic lifestyle changes, if you will, you can have a tremendous impact in terms of everything that you do. So for example, when I was a young guy, Young whippersnapper, I got a chronic blood disorder. And through TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, and lifestyle changes, I was able to basically cure myself of the lifelong chronic blood disorder. It took about a year or so to get it done because I wasn't doing things properly, year, year and a half. But I got it done. Anyway, uh, that's just one example. I have a friend of mine who was able to... Uh, reverse and cure his type 2 diabetes and he's been fine for eight years now and i can go on and on and on so what are these three basic things that you could do it's not that complex actually although it could be a little bit difficult to implement number one intermittent fasting that means reducing the number of meals you have per day and closing that eating window so what does that mean essentially you should not be having multiple meals per day. It's not good for your body. Whenever you eat a meal, it switches the switch in your body to a state where it starts trying to save energy, basically build up fat. When you don't eat for eight hours or more, the body switches to another state where it starts clean, cleaning itself out. Cleaning itself out. Very important. So intermittent fasting, you can look it up. I'm not going to give you all the details. You can look up 16-8 intermittent fasting or 18-6 intermittent fasting. And then once every, I don't know, three, four months, once you get into it, maybe you do a 24-hour fast. This is going to help you in so many ways that are so profound in terms of impacts on your health, on your psychology. You will be blown away. Next thing you have to do is you have to cut out processed carbs sugars, processed foods out of your diet. This is huge. So look up keto or carnivore. So many people are allergic or have bad reactions to wheat-based foods, pastas, breads, uh, sugar, pop, all this kind of stuff. It's a very low-level poison. And uh, that's why everybody's bloated these days. And that's why you have this huge rise in all these uh, psychological disorders, physiological disorders, diabetes, everybody's getting fat. This is, because of, this is because of this poor diet of carbs and processed foods. You have to go back to the type of food that our bodies as a species, as a collective species, have adapted to over millions of years. Things like bread and wheat and pastas, these are relatively new inventions that humanity put together in the last, whatever, five, ten thousand years. The prior uh, many hundreds of thousands of years and millions of years, uh, if you look at pre-humans uh, evolutionary-wise, we didn't have these things. They were hunter-gatherers, eat mostly meat, occasional tuber, uh, occasional fruit for most climates on uh, occasional fruit when it was in season, so that means a couple months a year. That was it. That is how our bodies adapted for, you know, in terms of special. Sp special um, species, what's the word I'm looking for? Evolutionary adaptation has been based on that diet. Also, if you think about it, prior to agriculture, which is the 99.999% of human, our human species existence, we lived in feast and famine uh, circumstances, right? Go hunting, kill a deer, eat like crazy, and then not eat for three, four days. This is par for the course. This is how our bodies evolved to live that life. That's why we have fat stores. That's why we store fat for those periods. Now, the thing is, during those days and hours that we don't eat, the body is able to start cleaning itself out. So you have to, again, you have to align your lifestyle with 
the way in which our bodies evolved. It's that bloody simple. The third and final thing you have to do is you have to get up and you have to move. You have to be mobile. You have to do some exercises every day, especially as you get older. Men should be lifting heavy things. Don't have to do complex at workout, just a basic exercise, deadlifts, bench press, uh, deadlifts, bench press, shoulder presses, and walk every day. Try to get in eight to 10,000 steps a day walking. Uh, yeah, let me throw in a little fourth thing, drink a lot of water, clean the body out. The only way you can remove a lot of toxins from the body is through movement, it's through movement. There you go, those are the three things you gotta do. Intermittent fasting, you don't want to be eating constantly because you're gonna give your body time to do its normal repair cycle, which it only does when you're not eating. You have to cut out all the processed food, all the, uh, what do they call it, the standard American diet, the sad diet, makes you sad, makes your body sad. You don't want to eat any of that garbage. And I'm telling you, go all natural, all natural. Fatty meats, uh, if you want to do vegetables, do it. But you may be, you may find that you have an intolerance to vegetables as well, believe it or not. Remember, what did our species evolve under? What lifestyle did our species evolve under? Nomadic lifestyle, hunter-gatherer lifestyle, meaning no grains, no breads. This is all very recent, just in the last five, 10,000 years in our evolutionary uh, lifespan, if you will, special lifespan that this has occurred. It's garbage for you. That's why I'm seeing, go, don't take my word for it. Go look up on YouTube. There are countless videos of people who had all these chronic and serious diseases, and just by getting off of carbs and just going uh, for a full carnivore diet or keto diet, they've seen their symptoms improve 100%. It's unbelievable the impact of that. So yeah, intermittent fasting, cut out the, gar the, gar the garbage food, the carbs and so on, and uh, move, move every day. Very important, very important. All right, I hope you found this video useful. On this channel, I don't talk about cold so much. That's what my other channel is about. I'm here sharing broader lifestyle uh, knowledge and wisdom and experiences that I've, uh, I've accumulated over the years. Again, I walk the talk. I'm not 100% carnival right now. It's due to lack of discipline. But since cutting out my carbs, I'm talking potatoes and chips and popcorn and uh, certainly you know, no more soft drinks, no more juice, no more uh, smoothies, uh, uh, no more pasta, no more breads. Since I've cut out these things, I feel so much better and I've lost so much weight. It's unbelievable how much weight I've lost. It's very healthy. I have not been this thin. I'm 6'2", I'm 186 pounds, 187. I haven't been this thin since high school. That's like 200 years ago. 